and it tells people to flee. It says people will flee to the mountains. They'll call on the rocks to hide them. But the rocks won't be able to hide them from a God of judgment. See, God is a kind and a merciful God. And he is long-suffering, not willing that any should perish, the Bible says. But one day, it's going to be too late to serve him. One day, the judgment of God will hit this earth. And you know, people have scoffed and mocked and all down through history and... I said, Jesus is not coming back. Them Christians is just a bunch of nuts. They don't know what they're talking about. All I got to say is we'll see. We'll see, praise God. But you know what? I'd rather take my chances in serving the Lord and being faithful to Him and being a Christian is to take my chances not. What if, you know what, if we're wrong, no sweat. But what if we're right? What if we're right in telling you that? What if that really does happen? Because the Bible says it's going to happen. Read it. Read your word. Get familiar with your word. I urge you today to get into the Bible, to receive Jesus while you can. People are leaving this planet every day. Some are leaving to be with the Lord. Some are leaving to meet the enemy, the devil, and going to an awful, awful place called hell Hades where there's suffering where there's torment day and night never ceases never ceases choose life choose life that you and your seed may live like the Lord told us choose life and by choosing Jesus Christ as your Savior, you're choosing life, life everlasting. You know, everybody that's born into this earth has a soul and a spirit. That's the reason it's so important to be cautious. Teenagers, be cautious. Think about what you're doing before you go out and do things of this world and and you bring a child into this world because you know what you're bringing somebody with an eternal soul and an eternal spirit and you'll be held accountable yes you're young but you know what there's an account that you're accountable for to teach them the ways of the Lord. Your soul and your spirit lives on somewhere. Everlasting. Is it going to be with God? Or is it going to be in an awful, awful place called hell? And you know, we don't know why the Lord directs us to say what we say sometimes. But there's someone that needs to hear this. There's someone that's just going on in their own little way, in their own choosing to do the things that they want to do and says, well, I'm going to do it my way or die. Well, you can do it your way. And God will let you. God will let you choose to go to hell if you want to. He won't go against your will. He won't override your will. 
You can choose where you're going to spend eternal life. The choice is yours. Praise God. Put your trust in him. Lord, I trust you. Get ready, Brother Jonathan. I trust you. I trust you, Lord, I do. Never even worry that I might not make it through. Cause I trust you, Lord, I trust you. Trust you, Lord, I do. Because I know you love me. Because I know you care. Because I know you love me. I will always trust. I will always trust. I will always trust in you. Yes, I will. I will always trust in you. 